Hello and welcome to another Purveyor of Light uh, Apple Quick Tip this week. Uh, for those of you that are Mac users, uh, Apple has released the new operating system Mac OS Ventura 13.0. And uh, they put some goodies in here and changes uh, to help on the photography side. A couple modifications to their Photos app. And so I'm going to run you through those today. Uh, and some of them I think you're going to find useful. So let's jump right in. Okay. So first thing on the agenda is they have the ability now to, I'm going to, when you're editing a photo, okay, uh, you can come in and do all your edits and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and... Once you're done with your edits, I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go black and white. So it's very apparent to what I'm doing. Okay. And, uh, okay. So I made this one black and white and then I hit done. Okay. So I also have these additional photos from the same shoot, um, that, uh, I want to synchronize all the settings. Now, this is something that if you're a Lightroom user, there's nothing new there. But for Apple Photos, this is the first time they're going to allow you to synchronize uh, edits across multiple photos. So all you have to do is once you're here, you go to image and you copy the edits that you did on the photo that you just did. And then you can just simply select... Uh, the other photos, I'll select all of those by holding the uh, control command key down. And then I can go up to image and I can go paste edits. And you can see all of them now have been synchronized. Uh, so that's something totally new to, uh, to Apple Photos. And so that's going to be a big use for, you know, helpful thing for people. Uh, let's see. Next thing on the agenda here is one that I actually really am glad to see. And I'm going to write a little email off to Adobe because this is a feature that Adobe doesn't have even. Okay. And that is the ability to identify duplicate photos. I mean, you know, over time we move photos, we edit photos, we, you know, we get a little careless about our management of photos and we wind up with a library that contains duplicate photos and that wastes hard drive space. It's, it takes computing power, all that other stuff. So wouldn't it be nice if we could turn around and locate our uh, photos in duplicate. So let me uh, come here and uh, I'm going to undo this here and then just uh, revert to original. Okay. Okay. All photos go back to original. All right. So you'll notice over here on the left uh, tab area on the menu, you'll notice we now have something showing up called duplicates. Now this is a, um, AI feature. Okay. It will do this automatically for you. If it finds duplicates, it's going to make this duplicates folder and it's going to prompt you to, Hey, you got some duplicates in here. Let's do some household cleanup. So if you click on the duplicates, you could see that uh, Apple Photos has identified these are as duplicate photos, and they are correct. Uh, each one of them are. And then we have the ability to uh, merge them together, okay? And the beauty of it is, because it's intelligent, even if these different photos were in different albums and different collections and so forth, uh, Apple Photos is intelligent enough to know I'll put the one photo that we keep and then I'll make sure it's a member of all those other f albums so that you know nothing gets lost or moved. And so all you would do is just merge the, the images together and Apple Photos takes care of it all. Okay? And you click merge and it'll say you have them. Good. Boom. And it is done. And you'll notice here on the left side that the photo is... Uh, gone now. That's because we have done our house cleaning and the duplicate photos have been uh, taken care of, cleaned up, erased, and 
uh, placed into the appropriate folders. And if we come down through the photos here, I think we can find that uh, photo that we had. Let's see here. There it is right there. Now we just have the one version of it. Um, it was intelligent enough to know uh, which was the highest resolution photo, what was the highest quality, and it did all that automatically. And so that, that to me is a fantastic feature that they put in. So finding duplicates automatic. Now, the only thing about it is, is it's a, it's, it's a totally automatic. So it only runs that function when the Photos app is closed. Okay, so that's a little peculiarity. Uh, you have to have the photo apps closed and then, you know, leave your computer run overnight or a few, few hours and then Apple will turn around and determine um, which one are the duplicates and then mark it, okay? It will not do the duplicate marking if the photos app is open, okay? So, minor, minor thing. All right, so... Let's see what's next on the list. Okay, the next thing is, um, has to do with the actually operating system itself. Okay, we're getting more intelligence. Uh, you, everybody knows Spotlight, Command Space Bar, right? And you could type any kind of search thing you want. If I type for the word beach now, and I do a Spotlight search for that, I get my normal results, okay? But if you scroll down, look at this. It also is intelligent enough to identify what I was searching for using AI, not tags, not keywords, not anything. It was using AI features uh, that Apple had turned around and analyzed the photos in the library and said, hey, these photos were taken at a beach. And so that's a great little feature that's now going to be available so that even if you're not in the, the Photos app, you can now do intelligent searches. So there we go. I think that's pretty darn good. And, uh, you know, nothing earth shattering. Uh, but to me, that duplicate feature is the key. Uh, the copy and paste and sync, multiple syncing of uh, edits. I think that's a great feature. And the spotlight feature is just another icing on the cake. So that's it. I just wanted to let you guys know about the new features. And I hope you guys are doing well. And uh, if you haven't, please take the time to subscribe and like so that we can uh, keep these videos. Because, you know, with the YouTube logarithm, uh, they really rely on that uh, uh, subscribe and like so that you can get uh, told when I put up new episodes. All right. So till next week, you guys take care.